Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square ABCD along with this uh, right triangle uh, AED put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. It's that the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, square root of uh, 87 centimeter. The area of this uh, blue right triangle uh, FDC is uh, 24 centimeter square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, AFD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, square EBCD whose uh, side length is uh, square root of 87. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s uh, represents the side length uh, of the square. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, square ABCD is going to be square root of uh, 87 whole uh, square, and that is going to be equal to 87 centimeter square. So therefore, the area of this uh, square ABCD turns out to be 87 centimeter square and in this uh, next step I have uh, created an auxiliary line uh, EC by connecting uh, these points E and uh, C and as a result we got this uh, yellow triangle uh, EFC and now let's make an observation we can see that EC is the diagonal of this uh, square EBCD so that means this is going to divide uh, this whole uh, area of this uh, square into two equal parts, uh, this uh, area and this uh, area as well. So therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle uh, EDC is going to be the half uh, of this uh, square EBCD area. And we know our square area is uh, 87. So therefore our this uh, triangle EDC area is going to be a half uh, times uh, 87 and that is going to give us uh, 43.5 square centimeter. So therefore the area of this uh, right triangle EDC turns out to be 43.5 centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, EFC and we can see that the area of this uh, yellow triangle EFC is going to be equal to the area of uh, this uh, right uh, triangle uh, EDC minus uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, FDC and we know the area of this uh, triangle EDC is uh, 43.5 minus uh, this uh, blue triangle area is uh, 24 and if we subtract this thing that is going to give us uh, 19.5 centimeter square. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, EFC area turns out to be 19.5. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and label the area of this uh, green uh, triangle AFD as uh, X. The area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, EFC as uh, Y and the area of this uh, triangle uh, AEF uh, as uh, Z. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, triangle uh, AED is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, AEC, this uh, area of the triangle because both of these uh, triangles have the same base uh, AE, this is the base and the height uh, of this triangle uh, AED is uh, this and the height of uh, this other triangle uh, AEC is uh, same as uh, this one. Now we can see the combined area of this uh, triangle uh, AED is uh, X plus Z. So let me go ahead and uh, replace uh, this AED area by x plus z is going to be equal to the combined area of this uh, other triangle AEC is going to be y plus z. Therefore I'm going to replace this AEC area by y plus z. 
and now we can see z and z cancel each other out so therefore our x area turns out to be y area and we know our y area is simply 19.5 so therefore i'm going to replace this y by 19.5 so therefore our x value turns out to be 19.5 centimeter square and we know that x represents the area of this uh, green uh, triangle area so therefore uh, green triangle area turns out to be 19.5 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, afd turns out to be 19.5 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye